Welcome to the Nexus Media Importer Photo Viewer Overview. Uh, I want to do a couple things before we get started. Uh, first I want to go into Preferences and use large thumbnails and enable right so we can see all the features. Um, of course agree to the legal. And without connecting the OTG I want to mention something on the connect screen. So click connect. As you can see now it's in importer mode. This is the default and this will copy photos and videos from the USB drive to the tablet. If you click that you'll be able to select exporter mode which allows you to copy from the tablet to the USB drive. We're just going to stay in importer mode for now. I'll connect the OTG, click it, and we'll click the photos. So you can see the photos are now large, so we'll just select a photo to look at it and we can just fling it back and forth and now we can also double tap to go full screen and you can from full screen or the, the normal view you can press and hold something to check focus on a particular point and once you're zoomed in you can fling it around freely until you hit the edges of the, the photo and double click will back out or the back button will do the same as you can see there there are several icons across the top. The, the one with the double box is copy, the one with the box with the, the arrow is move, the trash can is delete, and there's a slideshow option right here. And you can just tap the screen twice to get back. In addition, if you want to select more than one photo, you can enable multi-select. And now you can select more than one photo. This is why you can copy multiple photos at the same time. Let's go over some of the preferences for the photo viewer. By default, we have a small thumbnail with the name of the file all sorted by name in ascending order. If we go into preferences, we can change the photo sort order to sort by date descending, so the first the latest photo is first. We can pick large thumbnails. We can show media metadata or EXIF information, and we can color code the thumbs by date. This is useful for seeing photos that were all shot on the same day. If you're shooting RAW and JPEG, you can filter out the RAW so you just see the JPEGs. You can also set the slideshow delay or select the slideshow to do an infinite loop. Let's see what our changes have done. So now you can see the sort order has changed, and this latest photo is first. It has an orange color band along with the other ones. If we click onto it, you can see that the EXIF information, including the date, the megapixel, the exposure program, the exposure, the f-stop, and the ISO are displayed. The information will vary by what your camera provides. 